Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.2 and problem number 3.28. Three identical bars of lengths L are arranged and supported in a horizontal plane as shown in figure S. Each bar supports the end of another at its midpoint so that DEF is an equilateral triangle with the sides of length L by 2. Find reactions at A, B, C and interactions at D, E, F due to a vertical load P applied midway between D and F on the bar D, B. There are three bars A, E, D, B and C, F are arranged like this. Our interest is to find the reactions at the supports A, B, C and also at this midpoints D, E, F. So for that, we will analyze uh, each uh, bar individually. First, let us consider the bar BD. Now at B, there is a support, hence I can find a reaction at B. And at D, it is just placing on the bar AE, hence I can find a reaction at D or D. And at F, there is a reaction force from the bar CF but that acts in the downwards RF and also there is a force P, applied force P. Since uh, RF is the midpoint, uh, so this distance is L by 2 and P is the force acting at a distance of L by 4 because P is acting at the midpoint of DF. Now let us apply the equilibrium equation. The first equilibrium equation sigma Fy is equal to 0. That means Rb plus Rd is equal to P plus Rf. Equation number 1. Take moments about any point. So I will take the moments about point D. Then P will introduce a moment in the clockwise. Rf will introduce a moment in the clockwise. Rb will introduce a moment in the counterclockwise. And you know all the distances. Hence I can write Rb into L minus P into L by 4 minus RF into L by 2 is equal to 0 and all gets cancelled and upon simplification then I will get 4RB is equal to P plus 2 into RF. This is equation number 2. Next let us consider the another uh, bar that is AE. At E I can find a reaction, upward reaction at E or E. And at A, there is a support, hence I can find the reaction at A or A. And at D, I can find a vertical reaction or D. And since D is the midpoint, I know that this distance is L by 2. Now let us apply the equilibrium equation sigma Fy is equal to 0. Then I will get Ra plus Re is equal to Rd. And take moments about A, then I will get Rd into L by 2 is equal to Re into L. And after simplification, then I will get Rd is equal to 2 into Ra. This is equation number 4. Next, consider the last bar that is Cf. At C, there is a support and F, it is also support. And at E, another bar is placed on at E. Hence, the reaction at F becomes Rf, reaction at C becomes Rc and, re and the force at E is Re. And this distance is, I know, that is L by 2. So I can apply equilibrium equation sigma Fy is equal to 0. So Rc plus Rf is equal to Re. And take moments about C equals to 0. Then I will get Re into L by 2 is equal to Rf into L. So LL gets cancelled. Or you can say Re is equal to 2 Rf. This is equation 6. Total I have 6 equations. And I have six unknowns R A, R B, R C, R D, R E, and R F. So I can solve all the six equations and I can find all the six unknowns. Let me write all the six equations one by one R B plus R D is equal to P plus R F, 4 R B is equal to P plus 2 R F, R A plus R E is equal to R D, R D is equal to 2 R E, R C plus R F is equal to R E and 2RF is equal to RE. These are the six, six equations. Now, uh, let us solve all these six equations for the six unknowns. 
first consider equation 4 and 6. Now, Rd is equal to 2 Re, but I know Re is equal to 2 Rf. I will substitute here, then I will get Rd is equal to 4 Rf. This I will say equation number 7. Next, now the equation 1 consisting of the equation in terms of Rb, Rd and Rf. So, I will substitute Rb, but Rd I know 4 Rf is equal to P plus Rf. So, I will get another equation in terms of Rb and Rf. So, Rb is equal to P minus 3 Rf. This is equation 8. Now, your equation 2 is also an equation in terms of Rb and Rf. Equation 8 is also in terms of Rb and Rf. So, I can simplify equation 2 and E. So, from equation 2, that 4 into Rb becomes P minus 3 into Rf. I will substitute Rb is equal to P minus 3 into Rf. That is equal to P plus 2 Rf. The only unknown is Rf. I can simplify this. And after simplification, I will get Rf is equal to 3P by 14. This is equation number 9. From equation 6, I know 2 Rf is equal to Re. So, I can find the value of Re that is equal to 3p by 7. This is equation 10. Next, from equation 5, this is the equation in terms of Rc, Rf and Re out of which Rf and Re values are known. So, I can find Rc. So, Rc is equal to Re minus Rf, 3p by 7 minus 3p by 14. So, which gives 3p by 14. That is equation 11. Next, from equation 4, this is Rd is equal to 2 Re. I know the value of Re. So, I can find the value of Rd. That is 2 into Re. 3p by 7. That is 6p by 7. Equation number 12. And from equation 2, 4Rb is equal to 3 plus 2Rf. I know the value of Rf. So, 4Rb is equal to 3, 2 into 3p by 17, which gives the value of 3p by 7. Hence, I can find Rb that is equal to 5p by 14, equation number 13. And from the equation 3, where Re plus Re is equal to Rd, I know the values of Re and Rd. I can substitute there and I can find the value of Re, 3p by 7. These 6 are the answers for the given problem.